Hi everyone, this is Teacher Angelica and welcome to my Science 7 lessons. Before anything else, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and I'd also like to thank my good friend Vifera Leopoldo. For any one of you who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be updated with my future vlogs. Our topic for today is about concentration of solutions. In our previous lesson, you learned about solutions. As you can remember, a solution has two components. The solute, which is the component present in small amounts, and the solvent, which is the dissolving medium or the component that comes in greater quantity. When you mix a sugar into the water, the solute will be the sugar and the solvent is the water. You are now able to make a sugar solution. You also learned about solubility, which is the ability of the solute to be dissolved in a solvent. So when there is less amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent, the solution is said to be unsaturated. But when there is a maximum amount of solute in a given amount of solvent, then the solution is saturated. Now the question is, how do we know the accurate amount of solute in a given amount of solvent? Let's go find out together. Let's say you prepared a cup of coffee and then you put too much coffee powder and too much sugar on it. What do you think will happen to the color, the smell, and the taste of the coffee? Of course! The color of the coffee will be too dark, the smell will be too strong, and the taste will be too sweet since you put too much sugar on it. The intensity of the color, the strength of the smell, and the degree of sweetness of the coffee all depend on the concentration of the solution. Concentration is the amount of solute relative to the amount of solution. This can be expressed in several ways. For example, if a very small amount of coffee powder is dissolved in a large amount of water, the solution is said to be dilute. If a greater amount of coffee powder is added and dissolved, the solution is already concentrated. However, dilute and concentrated solutions are only relative or qualitative terms. A more accurate way of expressing the amount of solute in a given amount of solvent is in terms of percentage. Concentration of solution can be expressed in percent by mass and percent by volume. Percent by mass is the amount of solute in a given mass of solution. Percent by volume, on the other hand, is the amount of solute in a given volume of solution. Both are ratio of the amount of solute to the amount of solution because percent means parts per hundred. Mathematically, we can express this as percent by mass equals mass solute over mass solution times 100. Why do we need to multiply this to 100 because again percent means parts per hundred and percent by volume equals volume solute over volume solution times 100 this can also be understood in this illustration a two mass of solute plus 98 mass of solvent equals 100 mass of solution the amount of solute in this example is 2 mass in a total of 100 mass of solution. Therefore, the concentration of the solution is 2%. Thus, in every 100 mass of solution, there is 2 mass of solute. Or in 100% solid solution, there is 2% solute. Same is true with percent by volume. 
a 2 volume of solute plus 98 volume of solvent equals 100 volume of solution. The amount of solute in this example is 2 in a total of 100 volume of solution. Therefore, the concentration of the solution is 2%. Thus, in every 100 volume of solution, there is 2 volumes of solute. Or, in 100% liquid solution, there is 2% solute. Labels of products we use at home often show the concentration of solutes expressed as percent by mass or volume. For example, vinegar is often labeled as 5% acidity, which means it contains 5 grams of acetic acid and 95 grams of water to make a 100 grams of vinegar. What about a 70% alcohol solution we used as disinfectant? Let's see. A 70% isopropyl alcohol contains 70 ml of isopropyl alcohol in 100 ml solution or 70 ml of isopropyl over 100 ml solution. The concentration of solid solutions like gold jewelry is expressed as carat. Pure gold is referred to as 24 carats. Jewelry that is said to be 18 carats contains 18 grams of gold for every 24 grams of the material. The remaining 6 grams consist of the other metal like copper and silver. This material has a concentration of 75% gold that is 18 grams divided by 24 grams times 100. That's it guys! I hope you learned another amazing lesson today. This is Teacher Angelica saying keep educating yourself because that's the key to success. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified with my future vlogs. See you next time!